Hey guys, my name is Alberto, and this is my submission for Tuna Ride. We're going to be going today over my Mazda 3i Sedan 2007. So let's do this. So starting off first, we're going with the tires. We upgraded from the stock to the Michelin. This is the 195-65 R15. Uh, we also upgraded from the original iron hubcat to the stainless steel, painted black. And for the street, the, for the springs, sorry, we switched from stock, obviously, to the e-box springs. So this one is the 350Z model, but it actually is compatible with this trim. So now we're going to take it to the interior. <laughs> Continuing off from the tires, I'll just keep it at the manufacturer's recommended PSI of 34. That's also 230 kilopascals. But anyways, moving on to the interior. So we got the stock, uh, this is, I believe, just fabric for the black. It's just based on like an anthracist black, but that's all right, that's pretty tight. The rest of the car is all uh, bovine leather. Uh, for the steering wheel, it's also a wrapped leather that's actually pretty sleek. We didn't want to do anything from like, say, Amazon or AutoZone because that stuff tends to peel in your hands. Uh, so we're keeping it nice and trim for this one. So now we're gonna move on to the back seat. So again, we want all wrapped bovine leather. We have a little uh, pouch right here so you can keep different things like maybe like a, a umbrella or maybe a ball for, for your dog, you know, your homie. Uh, we have a little bit of water here. We go with the Kirkland, but you know, that's just preference uh, based on what you want. We have a little bit of hand sanitizer, but that's cool. And then uh, just like a backup rag, you know, in case you're doing any automotive stuff uh, in the trunk. So let's take it to the engine. So for the air intake, you can't really see it right now. I haven't taken it out. So we went with the Core Sport I-440. Uh, gives you a little bit of boost with this model since it's the base stock uh, engine. At least it was before, before I upgraded it. Uh, gave you about 4 horsepower extra. But right now it's doing about 30, 40 plus horsepower on top of the 240 from the engine. So over here in the engine, we upgraded it from just the regular stock to the DOH. This one is actually the 16 valve instead of just the 4 valve. It took a little bit of time to get it to swap. I had to order the the parts from uh, south of the border, from Mexico, but it's all right. the price ended up being pretty good. So this one now has variable valve timing, um, which uh, gives you a little more boost, especially going past like the fourth or fifth gear. This car unfortunately doesn't have the sixth gear because it was not made available for this version of the engine. Now we also, if I want to just point out that we do have a, a coolant system that if it does look like it's leaking, it's actually not. It's just a little bit of the excess overflow from the turbo that's been installed over here on this side. Also, we have a Kirkland battery that's actually been doing pretty good. I'm going about like four or five years now, just keeping the water nice. You want to make sure you use distilled water. A lot of people just use tap water, but it messes up with the, uh, you know, the electron flow. But more on that later. Uh, we also have some washer and steering fluid. Actually, that's backwards. But we like to keep those nice and topped off, so that way the uh, power steering and the windows stay nice and clean. Um, so yeah, so let's take it back to the trunk. All right, so now for the trunk. We actually upgraded it from just a regular canvas to a suede interior. So while the light isn't on during the daytime, it has a sensor to turn on at night. So this is a suede interior that I actually fully wrapped around on the inside. And if you lift it up, you can actually see that the uh, spare parts are down here just waiting to be used with the spare tire. Now I haven't upgraded it to an actual real tire. It's just the donut right now, but that's all right because that'll work out just in case it's an emergency. And if you see over here, I've actually added some modifications where if you turn this little lever to the left, you pull out, you can actually get what is like actually like an off upgraded uh it's like for a ford excursion so like a bigger car but it lifts it up pretty good but um yeah luckily i haven't had to use it just yet but anyways let's take it to the front the windshield is actually stocked and so is this one we haven't upgraded to like a carbon fiber scoop because it's unnecessary especially for submissions to tuna rides all right, so let's tune her up and let's hear her purr. Thanks again for checking out my tuna ride submission. My name is Alberto. You can follow me and my ride at Raven666 on Instagram and Twitter. Again, this is the Mazda 3 i Sedan 2007. Thanks.
falto en esta vida, quedaré con su nación. Cuando tuve tiempo.